Toss is actually quite easy. Um, if you do it right, which isn't easy. Start off by getting our adrenaline. I'm gonna pop my ring of vigor and overload. Pop into the fight. Anticipate to keep the adrenaline going and pop down. I said hop down. And then we're gonna surge away. Step up here. Go ahead and do a little bit of all of these things. So I uh, sunshined, adrenaline. Goodness gracious. Uh, I. I uh, sunshined, swapped back to my ring of death. Uh, adrenaline potioned, stunned, or uh, bombed him. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty simple stuff. Um, so then we can asphyxiate here again because he hasn't done his animation yet. If he has, we'll have to surge away first. And then we're going to surge away. The green beam is going to spawn. We're going to want to stand. Not necessarily in it, but make sure he's not standing in it. So we're going to take a hit and then mess with the next one. Uh, that was an accidental bomb, but it's fine. Wild magic out of this. Uh, so with the uppercut, we're gonna go into a stun. So make sure we're prepared for that. He does need bone. So we can go ahead and uh, be prepared for the uh, uppercut, the, uh, the stun that's about to happen here. Again, take a hit. And then Brezzo. Uh, I don't really want to be standing there. We're going to have a... Uh, come on, dude. You move. We're going to have a uh, going uppercut coming in a moment. Come down here, dude. Just come down here. Got a grip and tendrils in a moment. So I'll asphyxiate out of that. I'd rather have the wild magic for that, but I didn't plan properly. Uh, up next is actually a pretty brutal attack. Um, make sure it's not in this. Because this is really making this a lot harder than it has to be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bomb him again since we don't have bomb on him. I'm going to pray flick for this one. And I'm going to, uh... Pop the debilitate on him. And then we're going to have another, uh... I don't actually want to be in the, uh... I don't want either of us to be in that. Get out of that, and put our staff back on and prayers and all that. Be a little bit rough, but such is life. Got an uppercut coming in. Can I please stand in the stupid beam, dude? Can I please stand in the beam? Please? Please? Why am I not in the beam? Hello? <laughs> what the heck? I swear I stood in the beam. Uh, so we're going to have a uh, magic onslaught here in a moment. Which means that we start the next one with a virus, which is fine. Uh, we'll go stand in the beam first. You want to be attacking me, but I want to be following you. And then we will sunshine. And this is uh, just a DPS race, really. So get it down as, as best you can. I'm 
I'm even gonna tendrils here. I don't uh, like tendrilsing on Talos, but it's all about that DPS race. I wasn't prepared for that. I should have been, but I wasn't. And we'll asphyxiate to finish him off. Hopefully, as long as we can get a couple hits in. Ah, uh, so we ended with... I don't even remember. Hold still, which is going to be... into a weak anima bomb. Yeah. Weak anima bomb is fine. She's got his ball on. Uh, what? That wasn't what I was promised. Um... Sure. Yeah, okay. That's fine. This is okay. Goodness gracious me. This is about as bad as a phase four can go. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, anticipate up here. And then we're going to attack them and detonate. All over. Everything. And then finish them off with a couple of AoEs here. Uh, so we've got a, uh, we've actually got, come on, we've actually got the weak animal bomb coming in now. So I'll just stand here for that. And double anticipate, switch to the shield. Take one hit, take it off, and then rest with the next hit. Freedom to keep this off. Pray melee, eat up, detonate them. Nice and easy, and then uh, eat some more food. Come on, dude. And I want to, uh, I can't, so we're just gonna eat up. I don't know why Reflect is on cooldown, but this. That's okay, so we just had a stun, so we're gonna have a kill and a rapper cut come in. Good chance to get some movement in. Uh, up next is another weak animal bomb, but we're gonna be able to bypass this right here. Nope, we're not. That's good, that's good, I like that. Uh, anticipate, prey melee, and detonate, same as always. And then pop into the uh, AoEs there to finish them off. I don't know how many auto attacks he did, so I'm just going to assume that it was like all of them. Uh, we're gonna freed him here in a moment. And then again, as per usual, we take one hit and then Rezo take the prayer off and uh, put everything back on. So we go on our uppercut coming in, hopefully we can get him done before the anima bomb comes in, but should be fine. Should be completely fine. And we're on P5. P5 is uh, actually reasonably easy. But it can be scary. So we still got lots of food left, which is good. So we're gonna start off with a uh, bomb on him. And we're gonna hop into the green beam. Actually, praying mage on this, because you can only attack with mage. Uh, if these were the red ones, I would free them right now to keep them from stunning me. But they're not, so we're just going to explode them. Uh, we're not going to be sunshining yet because we're going to have a virus coming up right about now. Yeah. Which is red one, so we're just going to have to hop into the red beam. Please. Purge that. Uh, the beam changes here in a moment. Hopefully we still... Hopefully it changes to green. No. It changed to exactly what it was, which is fine. Uh, but I want to be in the green beam. That's going to hit us, but I'm just going to tank it. It's fine. Uh, asphyxiate, stun him, get it going a little bit longer. Uh, the green beam gives you adrenaline at the cost of prayer, so keep an eye on your prayer. Um, but your adrenaline is going to be totally fine. 
So we're gonna hop over this and then immortality. It's gonna instant kill us, but we had immortality up, so it's not actually gonna hurt. And then we just go ahead and finish him off. Very easy. Very easy. For some lance. Alright. 